Hey there, this is Ruben Lerner. At PyCon US 2025, I will be giving a tutorial called Comprehending Comprehensions. I've been teaching Python for a long time, and throughout that time, I've seen that many, many Python developers, from people who are new to Python to people who've been working with it for many years, are completely baffled by comprehensions. They don't understand what they are, why we write them, how really to write them, and how they're even different from regular for loops. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about it. Actually, we're not just going to talk about it. We are going to learn about it in depth. There are going to be lots of hands-on exercises and lots of chances for you to ask questions and for us to interact. Now, in my courses and my tutorials, I don't use slides. I use Jupyter or Marimo, and that's what I'm going to be doing there. So we can even start off in this video by asking the question, what's the difference? How do we write a comprehension? So let's assume that I have numbers equals range 10, and I want to get the squares of those numbers. If you don't know much about comprehensions, you'll say, well, I'll just do here squares equals an empty list. And I'll say for one number in numbers, and I'll say here squares append of one number to the second power. And as I like to say, unfortunately, this works. We do actually get the right answer back. What's the problem? The problem is that it's more expressive, it's more compact, it's more efficient, and it's more, as we like to say, Pythonic for us to do it with a comprehension. So I'll do that right here. I'll say one number to the second power for one number in numbers. And I get back exactly the same thing. The difference is that I've done it using comprehensions, which once you get into thinking about them in the right way, you see oodles of opportunities to take advantage of them. So how exactly are we going to be doing this in the course? Well, as I said, I don't use slides in my courses. It's all with notebooks. And I hope that you will follow along with me and use either your favorite IDE or notebook to do it. And we're going to start off talking about list comprehensions. Then we will talk about set comprehensions. Then we'll talk about dict comprehensions. Then we'll talk about nested comprehensions. And we're even going to have a chance to talk about generator expressions. And by the end of this tutorial, you will not only understand the how, the what, and the why, but you will have gained experience through the exercises and hopefully lots of interactions and groaning at my terrible jokes. I hope you will join me at the Comprehending Comprehensions tutorial. I hope to see you at PyCon US 2025. Even if you don't come up to my, even if you don't attend to my, attend my tutorial, I encourage you to come up, say hi, introduce yourselves. PyCon is such a fun time. We all should meet each other. Thanks a lot. I hope to see you at my tutorial. And if not, I hope to see you at PyCon US 2025 in just a few weeks.